Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 and 6. <coughs> you know what? Hang on. I think that was going to be my next one. Yeah. All right, we're going to stop right there. We're going to stop right there. We've got one more session to go in this dominion. And I'm going to save it till January. And I'm going to do that for a reason. Because I want to start 2018. Like I told you last two weeks ago. Let 2018 be a yes, Lord, year. Say yes to the Lord. We're going to get there next week. I mean, we're January, okay? Next week we got Christmas. The week after we'll finish Dominion. And I want to start 2018 with authority. I want you to know what authority is. I want you to know how to get your authority, how to claim your authority. I want you to know how to use your authority for 2018, okay? So uh, if somebody could go, let's see. First of all, uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. We're talking a lot this morning in the past few weeks about authority. You cannot claim this authority without Jesus in your life. So I want to give you the opportunity right now, if you haven't yet done so in your life, and I told you a while ago, one of the, probably the most important decision you can ever make in your life is to accept Jesus into your heart. So what I'd like for you to do today is I'd like for you to read with Romans with me. Chapter 10, verse 9. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you were made right with God and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. I'm going to say a little prayer and I hope that you would all say it with me. And if today's the first time you've said this prayer, I don't need you to raise your hand, stand up. I don't need you to come down front. I just need you to grab an elder or a lay pastor or one of our godly women. Uh, grab them by the arm. Let us pray for you and let us pray with you before you leave today, okay? Most gracious Heavenly Father, we humbly come before your throne. Father, we ask forgiveness of our sins today so that we can make a change in our life. We can come to you clean today, Father, by repenting of our sins and by, by saying that your word says that if I accept you into my heart and I openly declare that with my mouth, you are my Savior, I can be saved. So, Father... Right before the birth of your son, I, as we celebrate Christmas, I, I want to change my life. I want to end this year on a high note, and I want to start 2018 a new man, a new woman, a new child. So, Father, I come to you humbly with bended knee and bowed head, and I say, I believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and I believe that God raised him from the dead. If you said that prayer today again, I just ask for you to, to meet with me after church, one of my elders, lay pastors, one of our godly women, let them pray with you, let us pray for you, and let us, let us help you find your authority, let us help you find your gifts. Now, if there's anybody here today that, that has already taken that step in their life, and they're wanting to be baptized today, wanting to take that public display of obedience, I'm going to tell you right now, the water is about... 83 degrees. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I wouldn't do that to you. It's warm. But if there's anybody that wants to be baptized today, now's the time. It's open. We are ready to roll. I can get my late pastor up here in a heartbeat. No? All right. Let's get the kids up here. Let's get the band up here. Let me pray us out.